Now, this is a chart that uh, explains the menstrual cycle. Now, there are four figures, figure 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's understand all these figures. Now, let's uh, first understand the ovarian cycle. Now, at puberty, lacks of immature ovarian or graphene follicles are present in the ovaries containing immature egg. Now, on an average, only one ovarian or graphene follicle develops each month. Now, this follicle is called as a dominant follicle. Now, this dominant follicle develops during the first half of the ovarian cycle. That is a day 1 to day 14. And this period is called as a follicular phase. And very important, ovarian follicle develops in the presence of follicle stimulating hormone. And a developing follicle releases estrogen. So the levels of estrogen, they rise during the follicular phase. Now a fully developed follicle releases maximum amount of estrogen. Now around day 14, developed dominant follicle, it ruptures in the presence of luteinizing hormone and releases ovum or the mature egg in the fallopian tube. The process is called as ovulation. Now this ruptured ovarian follicle, it develops into corpus luteum. Corpus luteum produces large amount of progesterone and comparatively small amounts of estrogen. So a second half of ovarian cycle is called as luteal phase. And progesterone is produced only during uh, this phase, that is the luteal phase. Now look at figure 4. Now the levels of estrogen, they rise during the follicular phase. And they peak around day 14. And then again they start falling. Now once the corpus luteum is formed, it starts producing estrogen. So the graph shows a slight bump in the level of estrogen due to the release of estrogen by the corpus luteum. On the other hand, during follicular phase, there is no release of progesterone. In the luteal phase, there is steep rise in the levels of progesterone which is produced by the corpus luteum. Now, if this released egg is not fertilized, both progesterone as well as estrogen, their level fall. And this causes breakdown of endometrium and blood vessels of endometrium, the process is called as menstruation. And occurrence of menstruation confirms that the egg is not fertilized. And this marks uh, the beginning of uh, another reproductive cycle. So uh, let's uh, talk about the uterine cycle. Now uterine cycle, it prepares the endometrium uh, that is the innermost lining of the uterus. Uh, this is the innermost lining of the uterus to receive the fertilized egg. Now, follicular phase of ovary corresponds to the menstrual phase and proliferative phase of uterus, while the luteal phase of the ovary, it corresponds to the secretory phase of the uterine cycle. So, there are three phases in the uterine cycle, menstrual phase, proliferative phase and the secretory phase. Now, during the follicular phase, there is rise in the levels of estrogen and this estrogen causes proliferation or thickening of endometrial uterine lining. It prepares the uterus for the implantation of fertilized egg, while progesterone, which is produced during the luteal phase, further makes the uterine lining vascular. That is, progesterone increases blood supply to endometrium and stimulate uterine glands to produce secretions necessary to provide nutrition to the fertilized egg if it's implanted. Now, very important to understand that if egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum degenerates. The levels of progesterone and estrogen, they fall. And sharp decline in the levels of estrogen and progesterone cause breakdown of endometrium and breakdown of blood vessels. And endometrial tissue and the blood is passed from the uterus into the vagina as menstrual flow. The process is called as menstruation and the phase lasts for around 4 to 5 days. Now menstruation signifies uh, as discussed earlier that no pregnancy has occurred during this reproductive cycle. And menstrual phase is again followed by the proliferative phase and secretory phase and thus a new menstrual cycle begins again providing an opportunity for the reproduction. So this is in brief uh, the concept of 
uh, one menstrual cycle or one female reproductive cycle and the process of menstruation. So if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.